Hey guys, welcome back to Warwood Mechanics. Today we are going to show you how to replace the front brake pads on a Jaguar. Uh, it's an X-Type, so it should be the same when they started making those in 01, 02, older and 2007 models. This one is a four-wheel drive, you know, X-Type, all of them. And this one specifically is with a 3.0 engine, but it will be the same for all other ones as well. So stay with us to see how we are going to remove and replace the brake pads. Alright guys, this been sitting outside the shop for the last day and it's been raining, so it's just a surface rust, but everything comes off. And you always need to inspect your, uh, your rollers and we recommend to go ahead and turn them, cut them so they are nice and smooth when you put new brake pads. We'll be putting brake pads from a parts car, just a temporary deal, until we get a few things fixed on that thing and next month we put brand new brake pads. So in order to do that now, you need to take the tower off first and then if you get a big screwdriver and you stick it right there, you can pry the caliper a little bit and move out of the way as you can see like that so you can compress the piston inside of it. You can see how much slack we have now. Because when you install new brake pads, they will be way bigger than the old ones. And you won't be able to put the caliper back on the roller. And now you're going to need a 13mm socket. And on the back right there, there is, uh, there is two bolts that we'll need to remove that hold the caliper, that bracket right here. And all you need to do is just remove these two. But always, guys, always inspect your discs. Okay, see the other one is on the bottom, right there. If you cannot compress the caliper for some reason, you can borrow a tool from a parts store. But you should be able to do it with the screwdriver. Okay, just go ahead and remove it. Always inspect your, your rollers for cracks, for wear. Always we recommend to turn them. Those are pretty good actually. They look bad because they're rusty now, but they're pretty smooth, pretty nice, they're not shiny, if they're too shiny you need to do it again. And now we need to remove the <coughs> brake caliper out of there and that's the brake pad now, right here. Shut okay, if you grab the brake pad like that, okay, as you can see it comes out of there and the other one as well on the other side, sometimes they're a little stuck. Okay, you can see it's moving. Okay, just like that. There is still some wipe left in those. Okay, and you always need to make sure you always inspect right here. You need to clean and apply a little bit of brake grease as well. And if your wheel is stuck pretty bad here, they tend to form rust. So you need to clean right here as well. That's where the wheel contacts the hub. Okay, we are going to clean a little bit right here and apply a little bit of brake grease now. Okay, right there. So that way the new parts will be sliding back and forth pretty easy because if if they form rust there and they're not moving freely your brakes might be holding and it's not a good thing and now we get it uh, we, as we said we're using parts from a brake parts from another car that we have we didn't order new ones yet well we ordered them but we didn't get them so you need to just go ahead and install them that way. As you can see, they go in like that and you press. So it's the same procedure with new pads, guys. We always recommend to get new ones. And you can go ahead and install the brake caliper now and stay with us to see what you need to do. You have to do that 100%, otherwise you might get yourself in big trouble. So you need to get those too tight now. Okay, the two bolts that hold the caliper to the hub bracket right there. Okay. And now we need to we need to go inside the vehicle and as you can see how much play we have right here now. Uh, what you need to do, you need to go and hit the brakes, pump the brakes a few times until you have no play here. Because if you don't do that, when you start the car and you put it in drive, you won't have brakes for a few times, okay, you can see how it's compressing now. You need to go all the way until it's contacting. Okay, okay, like that. You need to make sure that it's holding. So that's the whole procedure, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and give us a like. We have a new video on our channel every day.